SciFinder is the chemical database for chemical literature because of its breadth and depth. It covers the chemical literature in many languages back to 1907 with a few earlier references. Use it to find published, published research on a topic. Published research includes articles, patents, some conference proceedings, and technical reports. Depending on your discipline, it is complementary to Reaxis, Web of Science, Scopus, and Compendex. Access to SciFinder requires a separate SciFinder account. Um, you have to sign up for it using your UCalgary email address, but once you've signed up, you can access it from wherever. Um, to do that, use the SciFinder link from the library's webpage. I'll show you that in a bit. So CAS, um, the makers of SciFinder, have very good training videos. Um, the, a link to this particular page will be available in the notes. To start, I suggest um, the search for a specific topic video. It's the first one listed in the reference searching section. This particular video um, covers only the research topic search, which is one of SciFinder's many search functions. However, the search, this particular search function will get you into the literature quite quickly. What the video doesn't show you um, is how to get to full text from within SciFinder. So when you're looking at a results list, which is um, this uh, top um, screenshot here, or if you're in um, the kind of more, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The more detailed view of, uh, of a result. You can click on the other sources in the results list or link to other sources in the detailed view. And this will bring you to an intermediate page where you can then click get the full text. That'll take you to the li through to the library's um, subscriptions and then through to the full text if we have. To get to SciFinder, um, go to the library's homepage, click on research, databases, all databases, and then from the drop down menu, choose chemistry and then SciFinder. This is also where you would um, sign up for a SciFinder account. You'll see on this page uh, links to other databases as well, and this is worth mentioning because SciFinder is, while it's really good, it only covers chemical literature. So if you're, if you need something a little more interdisciplinary, you might want to consider Scopus or Web of Science. Both of those are interdisciplinary um, databases, and they will cover things like physics or math literature much better than SciFinder would. And of course, there's overlaps between math and physics and chemistry. Uh, Reaxis, um, its strength is on indexing chemical literature based on substances and based on reactions rather than text. So if you're looking for literature on specific substances or reactions, uh, consider Reaxis as well. If you have questions about any of this, uh, feel free to contact someone at the library through chat or through email. Um, if you're viewing this video on a research guide, contact information can be found on the left-hand side. If you're viewing this video on YouTube, uh, UCalgary contact information will be in the notes.